Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here. We're doing another Ask PYS and we've got a question from a fellow boater named Scotty. Scotty's got a Hans Christensen, lovely sailboat, um, and he's asking a question regarding a DC panel. He says, Jeff, um, when I'm hooked up to shore power and my inverter is off, I have, total I have totally disconnected the leads from my batteries. So think about this, right? Boat is connected to shore power, inverter is disabled, but it's not really relevant, but it's important to say. So inverter is disabled and he's even disconnected the battery leads. And yet here I am measuring DC voltage on my panel. That's, that's crazy, right? That's crazy. How is it possible that you don't have a battery connected to your DC panel and yet you have DC voltage at your panel? It's like not being connected to the water main and having water flow through your faucet. If that doesn't freak you out, you haven't really been paying attention. You're disconnected from the city water main. How can you have water flowing through your faucets if you're disconnected from the city water main? You can't. Well, how can someone measure voltage on a DC panel without having been connected to the batteries? You know what the trick is here? The trick is, this is where the magic of electrical comes into play. And this is where people take shortcuts. And shortcuts lead to these sort of problems. And this is the difference between unswitched distribution and switch distribution. So let's look at this diagram. So again, unswitch distribution, switch distribution. Notice that the DC panel here, right? The DC panel is connected and should be connected only to the switch distribution. Makes sense. So when you turn off the battery switch, the DC panel should be de-energized and should have no voltage reading at all on the panel. That makes sense. Now, if someone installed a battery charger, and notice where the battery charger here is, right? The battery charger should be connected to the unswitched side, meaning when you disconnect or you turn off the battery switch, the charger should be connected only to the battery. But if you actually, and think about this, if you have your battery charger connected to the switch distribution, which happens way too often, effectively your battery charger becomes a power supply, right? And so this connection right here basically goes now here. So your shore power energizes your battery charger, your battery charger energizes your switch distribution, and when your switch distribution is energized, your panel has power. So effectively, you're running your battery charger as a power supply. And that's why the key between unswitch and switch distribution. And avoid that at your peril, because then you have a magical boat. And there's no magic. I'm not saying magic doesn't exist, but electrically it doesn't, right? And so if you want your boat to act predictably, you want to make sure that your charger is connected to, and the chargers right here, is connected to the unswitch distribution. Otherwise, world of magic doesn't make sense. And so that's why chargers and all, and all chargers, that could be solar controllers, right? That's really important. A methanol fuel cell, whatever it is, has to be connected to the unswitched distribution so that when you actually shut off the battery switch, the DC panel loses power. And that's why you want unswitched and switch distribution. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.